Becky, unaware of where the Ana was playing from. So there was no hope to be given. League are going to chase out their counterpart here. But Dreamers know not to overplay this. Otherwise, they could be stretched too thin by Nice, who has a pulse on to try and make work if they so desire. Everyone inside that nasty little ground means that Saad could be sniffing out a pulse from over here. Oh, it's victims, but it's a good nose that he's found. And it's Slave that will be a victim of that. The Ooh, Echo. Nano. Going to be answered. Both Echoes given over. Still, it's a stalemate here. I really love the way the Dreamers ended up playing that as well. So much focus fire down onto Jasmine as well as the rest of that room. Forced Jasmine to have to use most of that defense matrix. So not really an ability to be able to try to keep up that full spawn big pick. Now we have to see them try to come into this one in last fight territory. GG there from Liga. Becky's off the map! You can't fly oh, no. when you're on Amari, my guy. Big stick from Nice at least gets rid of the rally. But still, it's going to be yet another Anna. But it's not what Top Dragon. I don't know why these are the chosen duplicates of the day. But it seems to not be working out in either case. Still, Top Dragon happy to return to the natural form as that's where he's at his best. A beautiful anti. Gets rid of both Slee and brings Nice so low. A recall to travel back in time. But we're going to replay a timeline that has an unhappy ending. Sombra, yes, can get back quickly. But you're not going to be able to get that quickly enough. 100 to 0 here as Dreamers once again slay what I call copium. Facts. I told you. Just facts. Uh, <laughs> when, I, when I speak. This may force some bad positioning here from a defense of Dreamers, and that's why so many are just piling themselves up upon this point. It's Top Tracker who takes the responsibility, takes this point into his own hands, and says that I will be the one who makes sure this does not slip our grip. Dreamer, for now, skirmishing against the support, but it's not for DPS to really break through or find themselves a break point. What they can do is distract from healing Jasmine, who's taking considerable amounts of damage. Top Dragon harassed constantly by this Sombra. Had enough of these shenanigans and attempts at a stick. It goes too wide to find itself some prey, but Top Dragon on the other side has been hunting in their own right. I've got you. And Slee's going to be a victim. Victim now has the rally online, though, and that's going to be great to be able to deal with these dual EMPs. We ended up seeing Panthera be able to get the better of these EMPs when it was EMP versus EMP on their attack round, or defensive round, and uh, now we got to kind of see that again. Sad has to get no position for this one. Mace wants to be able to use the second. One of those brains, everyone. Eight ults available in this fight. Jasmine can't use the primal rage. That's going to be one that's off the table. An early pick onto the tank is a great choice to make sure. But there's simply no space for Panthera to work with, even if they do have the resources to try and make it work. Becky! Oh! He, Top Tracker simply blinks into Becky! Gets smacked up the backside of the head! Lovely assist coming through. Nice eyes on Meeson here. Out goes for Nana Boost. It's on to Dreamer, but Nice only wants the Ana. A good takeout on that translocator means that it might be difficult for Sand to try and extricate themselves from this Dardar's next to fall. Dreamer, yes, he's mad, but anger management given him a form of a hacked electronics. Turn off Twitter, it says. It'll make you feel much better. Top Dragon on the point simply cannot win a one versus three, and the same could be said of Dreamer. There's no touch on the point. And Panthera strike back, bringing us one to one. Looks like the practice that Panthera got yesterday, despite a loss on Midtown, was good enough to be able to tie up the series so far. The Silver Tracer Winston dive looked fantastic. It was only a matter of time with the time bank that they had to work with and only needing one third of the pie that they were able to take it from Dreamers. Well, they don't have a whole lot of progress yet on this second objective, but Panthera also don't have a whole lot of life. Jasmine's already down. Crikey. Huge there from Top Dragon. Of course, oh, no, Banana no, no, Slee's no, gonna be down. the target. It's easy as they come. Missing ah. elsewhere takes out Becky. Panthera, low on personnel, but high on the EMP. Nice to turn this around. A hero for Panthera. Nice, maybe able to turn this around, but it depends on whether or not there's any follow-up here from Panthera. There's already a huge anti in the back line. Grim loses the shield, doesn't lose his life, but he manages to disengage fairly well. Sad having to use that recall does mean that aggression not going to be on the cards. So this particular little DPS leads so much in the way of the maids, but it's okay. Develop still has this nice, good territory control as well. Takes away the Mega Dada. Doesn't even see it coming. It's a smack to the back of the head. A big old concussion is going to be given away. And that's going to be a developed, or rather, 
a duplicate coming through from Top Dragon, really wants a clicky in here, at least a touch of survival or dreamer, plays for the cart itself, buying this space and making sure that he can't be a big factor, an EMP takes away the potential to use the pole from any survival long enough to make it happen, a recall comes on through, now the hack is gone, and the rally's arrived as well in the form of Slee. Panthera, they've stolen this out from under Dream, but they need to be cognizant of how little breathing room they have with this car. That was an amazing defense coming out from Panthera, especially because Top Dragon may have been able to be a difference maker. The duplicate use there, I agree with it. Go for the EMP, try to be able to close out the fight despite the fact that you didn't have Dada there, but you gotta be careful. Dreamers waiting for an opportunity here to use the Primal as well. Huge bay grabs everyone inside. That's gonna force out the nano as recompense to try and keep that Dragita alive, kicking and healthy. Jasmine survives through the pulse bomb using the primal rage. The power of anger is more powerful than plastic explosives. There's a big stick and on the rally, but a nano? No, some other manner of disengagement was used. Maybe Dada managed to juggle that onto the shield or something. Jasmine down next, and everyone's falling from Pantheras. Yes, they're endangered, but now they're extinct. 2 1 to Dreamers as Watchpoint Gibraltar comes to a close. Echo is one of Top Dragon's best heroes, and we got a chance to see yet another example. Escape the clutches of Sad, who could see them through the walls. The blood hunting senses of the Sombra easily find a way with Scientist. And Becky struggling against the current, but still. Neptune claims him. I wasn't super impressed with Sad Sombra when we got a chance to look at Midtown, but I think that was more of a testament to how well we ended up seeing Panthera be able to play that defense. Nace getting set up meant that it was way harder for Sad to be able to get into the back line, but now that the wind is in Dreamer sails, Sad is having his way with Panthera right now. Absolutely is. Jasmine demands healing, but no! Oh, developed decides not to send him a nano, and that means that the tank is now gone. So too is the Brigitte. Oh, the nano from develop, it seems to have meant nothing. Maybe Slee was anti there or something, or simply could not survive it with a nano elsewhere. Either way, it's a disaster for Panthera, even more gained by Dreamers. They could just get the full capture here. Sad is close to another EMP gonna be slay still 30 percent away from getting this rally online as a response and despite the fact that becky does have this pulse bomb online this payload could get sunk in now hanzo oh the auspices of the hanzo not looking good as dreamer wants even more goes the oh surviving the pulse three meters great hardiness there from dada emp it's simply for show a victory firework for dreamers which signals the dream is not dead in fact it is alive it is kicking it is brutally maiming panthers and while it might not be ethical it is bloody exciting to watch as the land victory goes to dreamers what an exciting way to be able to finish off this series yet again we get a chance to see a full completion that's how we ended the series with...